part 6 and no corrections to be made to initiate this video because I got everything right in part 5. Thank fuck. At least I think I did. What I do have though to start is a shout out. So I uploaded a video starting a new series where I fight really tough battles and I've had a lot of saves submitted for Shogun 2 but so far the 3k saves are pretty lacking so 3k saves would be especially appreciated. If you're on the verge of a really tough fight and it's barely possible and you think that I could maybe just barely pull off, please send it in and I'll have something to work with and I'll be able to make that series everything it ought to be and everything it can be. really want to start putting out the vids for that in addition to this. Alright, shout it over. So, Sal Sal and Dune have become both sworn at the end of part 5 and also Gogia is in the recruitment pool. So, Sal Sal and Dune all sworn, that means that they have extra range block chance when they're on the battlefield together. That's the most important aspect to that, I would say, in records. In Romance, another effect becomes more relevant, which is the Berserk. So if one of them goes down, the other Berserks and has like double damage and gets healed. That's irrelevant to us though, pretty much. In Records, all Berserk does, I think, is increase damage a bit and makes you lose control of the unit, so basically the general runs amok like a fucking unit of elephants in Rome. So yeah, that's... It can be a bit annoying, but if they're already stuck in a melee, if they're already deep in a big brawl and then one of them goes down, the other one will start hacking through the fucking enemies all around them. Which can be pretty cool. It's a good feature, I like it. But for, for us, right now, the significance of this is Sao Sao and Dune can run through Archer Fire a bit better. <laughs> uh, and also I think that makes Dune a bit happier. Friendships with an army, plus eight, yeah. So, Gogia and Lufan, yeah, recruiting them. So, we've now got four strategists and these two are pretty much a straight upgrade on these two. It's tempting to just fucking banish these two, honestly, because we have too many characters right now. What I could do maybe is shuffle them all, cycle them all in the administrator slot and request aid from them all. Like a big chain conveyor belt of fucking strategists getting slotted in and aid requested. Dunno, maybe that would be alright. Although what I do want to do here is, I think, pull this guy off of administrator immediately. He was aid requested and yeah, so now we're putting Gojia in, in position. He's got plus 25% income from all sources and 10% of that comes from Brilliant. So this is the best trait in the game. I tried to get this on that earlier guy but patch 1.2 shuffled all the traits remember so I was hoping to get this on another guy but the first first character to have this trait in the campaign is this one, Gojia, and he's got expertise, cunning, 15% extra ammo for all units in the county, not just in his retinue, not just in the army, in the fucking county. So you could have, I don't know, two armies with three generals each, all with 15% extra ammo for all units. And you would have an extra 90% ammo for all units in the county, just from having six generals with us. Not to mention the fucking minus 30% for all enemy units. Holy shit, that means that you could get three generals with Brilliant and have minus 90% ammo for all units. And I think I have actually done that. I think I got a really lucky opportunity to do that and enemy archer units were coming into the battle with fucking three volleys. It was retarded, man. It was fucking ridiculous, so... I think stacking Brilliant generals together is a good strategy, but for now... The best stacking I can achieve with Gogia is with Sao Sao. So we've got Sao Sao up here with highly mobile, effective melee cavalry that can manoeuvre and make opportunities to chase down archers. And then we can also have highly effective skirmishers and maybe even trebuchets under Gogia. So 
although I've managed to accumulate some men underneath this guy's banner with these three units. Oh man, it's just... it's. I want to get Gogeta on the field, picking up XP with Sao Sao, like getting that friendship buff as soon as possible. And then maybe also have Jan Wei later on, alongside Gogeta and Sao Sao. And then maybe have Zhao Dun leading his own army somewhere. So yeah, although it's somewhat inefficient, I think their long-term gains are too great to not just recall this guy's retinue and have Gogeta here. This is something I've always wanted to do since before I even started this series, so yeah, I'm doing it. And then I'm recruiting another unit of crossbowmen. Although, wait, wait, here's what I should do. Shit. Shit, I should have moved them already, and then I should have done this. So at least I'll do it with the crossbows. So I'm going to have this army go down here. I was thinking about trying to go for this guy, but we wouldn't be able to reach. And even if we got within reach of him in two turns, he could have moved over there or down here. So we could just be chasing him. So we'll go towards the primary objective and then treat this guy as an incidental side objective if we can opportunistically pounce on him. So I'm going to go down here and then I should have fucking... I could have done that, couldn't I? I could have recruited Gogia now. Fuck, too late. Alright, so unit crossbows, they'll at least get the quarter of the unit, so they'll have 60 men. They're getting the muster in 10%. It's not that bad, we only miss out on 24 men in each unit here, so when they get into a fight in the next few turns, they'll have 25 fewer archers between them. But it'll be underneath Gojia with his... Look at that. 31 fucking volleys. And they're only meant to have 22, so that's like an extra 50%. Wait a minute. So, they're meant to have 22. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, 22 volleys. And these have got 31. So that's an extra 9, nine volleys. That doesn't fucking add up. They're meant to have an extra 50% ammo. So that should go up to 33. So what the fuck is going on here? This is not adding up. 22 there. 22 there. Yeah, that's not adding up. They should have 33 fucking volleys. I'm getting cheated. And then there's also the 15%, which I think is separate. So there's 50% from the cunning, 117 cunning, and that's a exponential function. So once we get up to 200, it could be... So it takes 117 cunning points to get 50% extra. And I think 200 cunning will give 100%, so yeah, another... The first 117 cunning for the first 50% ammo, the last 83 cunning for the last 50% ammo. At least that's how I think it works, that's how it looks. So we get 50% and then 15%, so that should be 65 fucking percent, but we're only getting... We're getting less than 50% here, that's bullshit. It's fucking... I'm getting scammed. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Someone figure that shit out and tell me what's going on because I am fucking confounded. Alright, down here. That's Sao Sao. Wait a minute. I need to look at this guy's traits. So, he's got a high base, and then on top of the high base he's got these traits that give 12, and then the 15% chance of ambushing, which is really good. Ho ho. This is why I want Sao Sao and Gogia together, because... They'll feed into each other's decisiveness in these ways. I mean, we've got better ambush chance, reduced ammo for enemy units, which might... I mean, I don't I don't typically let my enemies fire off much of their ammo at all, never mind get into the last 30% of their ammo pool, but maybe this will be useful somehow. Like during sieges, if I'm trying to kite and uh, make them fire off their ammo and dodge their arrows, then with these units, then maybe that would be useful. It would make that easier. And then there's also the 10% chance of capturing enemy officers post-battle. See, this stuff is all great. This is all good shit. And then there's Dune, who's got, for example, the reduced muster in turns, which is probably helping. 
Nah, that's for when he's a minister and a commandery, fuck. Yeah, so if I can get Jan Wei, then maybe he'll have something that can stack with all of these to be effective on the battlefield. Who knows? And there's Lu Fan, who is... What does he have again? He's got... Charismatic, and that's faction-wide. So, if we were to get him up here on one of these three, he would be given faction-wide satisfaction, like the authority does. So, Sao Sao was given faction-wide authority of 12, and this guy would be doing 7. So, he's somewhat emulating a commander in terms of leadership, just by having charismatic there. And that gives authority too. But it increases ambition to gain independence as administrator. What's the difference between these? Desire for higher office and ambition to gain independence as administrator. Higher office is self-explanatory, but ambition to gain independence as administrator, does that mean when they're administering, enemy spies can make them turn quote easier? That's another thing that someone could explain to me because I'm confused with that. Like these are two different things. So this one refers to loyalty. If they're loyal, they have reduced penalty from desire for higher office. So that's the desire's higher court position. But then there's the independence as administrator. So how how is independence gained by administrators? Does that mean that when there's a civil war, administrators can take towns with them? I don't get it. Someone tell me. I'm actually really curious. Alright, so 15% income from all sources, minus 6% construction costs, 10% income from all sources, and that's from the brilliant, that 10% income from all sources, so 25% income from all sources for administered commandery. And we're going to put this guy in charge before fights, and he's going to get heroic victories. And we can request aid with him, while he's also serving as an effective administrator. And... Well, the highest base income here is Chen from 190 Peasantry, so... Got to go with that shit. And we're getting only 100 income a turn. Fuck. Maybe I should banish Che Zhuan and Xu Miao. Fuck. Four strategists, and I can only really use one or two of them. And what I want to do here is put Lady Bayan as the faction here because she just ranked up finally. She is rank three. And we can give her finally battle running speed for her own retinue, so faster horses and then for extra gains immediately. This one for charge speed. And that settles that. So she's got four satisfaction right now, fuck. And if we were to put her as the factionaire, that minus 24 would go away. She's the most unstable of the family generals that we have right now because she is she's only ranked 3 and she's already got minus 24 and that's because of distinguished increases ambition yeah so got to demote Sao Ren he's gonna be fine being demoted because he's loyal I think minus 20 disinherited so He's never going to want to be promoted, he's got dutiful, penalty for higher office is way lower and he's also got higher base satisfaction as well, so we don't need to promote him really, Chancellor should do him fine for the whole campaign I think. And then of course Lady Bayan. So now we've got Lady Bayan, Sao Sao's wife. The faction leader's wife as the heir, and she's got 5% income from all sources. And we can also shuffle around shit, but first I'm gonna combine them so we can move stuff between their inventories immediately. So, got a horse, 
Need to get rid of these other things though. Right, so... Taking this off this guy. Sal Ren can lose the sword. He's losing the armor. In case we need the authority on her. And he's at 11. And then... There's also this. So... And they've still not fixed the fucking sets, god damn it. Fix that shit. Fucking hell. And also, Devious Attendant. So we just strip Sour in. And we give all this to Lady Bayan. So she's now got full sets, a full set of plus authority shit. And she's now legendary, so next turn she becomes. Next turn she becomes a legendary character, but she doesn't gain extra. She doesn't get the resilience point for it, for some reason. So, sword for Sal Ren. Yeah, matched. No, wait. What is this though? I don't understand this. Why is there a cooldown on this? But not on... What the fuck is that? Why is there no cooldown on this noble sword, but there was for the match Jian? What the fuck? Alright, well at least she's got armor for this. So, Kong Zhao got wrecked on the field in an ambush, just like Tao Qian. So he retreated back to his town, and we can get him now. So we're out number 21, and it's in the snow, but we do have the extra speed from Lady Bayan, finally. So... Saren is in charge, but he's not going to get a heroic victory here because that's precluded by the balance of power. I'm going to keep Saren as the the leader, I think, to get heroic victories for now. Makes sense. Alright, so we've got... These units are full and these ones are depleted, so they're going to be annoying. Going to have to try and manoeuvre around those pieces to get at the full units. Yeah, we're gonna have to move from the snow. Be decisive. I'm glad we finally have the speed upgrade. Cavalry without speed are really lackluster. Not gonna get those of salaries, unfortunately. Alright, so this guy has the most speed, and then these are the auxiliary cavalry, yeah. So we've got a lot of uh, passable stuff, fuck. So we've got farms, got houses, and then there's trees. This is kind of annoying to have to navigate. Yeah, they're sitting on the hill in the trees behind all this impassable shit. Fuck. Well, why are they farming in the snow? They've got their hose and they're tilling in the fucking snow. Don't understand that. Why would you break ground when it's all frozen up? What the fuck? Right, moving in now. So what I want to do here, I think, is get the melee cavalry up close. So, they've got a lot of spears, a lot of small fragments of units that'll be annoying. So I want to get up close to them. After I've let my flankers get around, oh shit, no, 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 come on. So I want to get around with all my flankers and then pull my melee cavalry up and have the spears be stuck, separated from the archers or chasing them, chasing after my cavalry. That's the thing, once you get your cavalry up close to them, they're either stuck in place to block you or they're chasing after you and then I can send my flankers around to capitalize. Yeah, this unit is getting around. And axes. Gonna put them on this slope. If they get shot at, so be it. I'll give my cavalry more freedom. If they're taking aggro from the archers, it's fine. That clattering fucking hell. Well, they're slamming into that guy and clattering. Fuck's sake. Alright, we're around. Finally. That speed in the snow, fuck's sake. It's too much. Alright, I'm getting in there. Let's we'll start making shit happen. I want to get the tank charging around. Oh, he's getting 9 kills already. 
Wow, he's been running down peasants and getting kills. What the fuck is that? Actually, I'm gonna regain my stamina because shit. That's snow. Yeah, look at that, the formation is getting a bit deformed. We can definitely bust this shit wide open. Yeah, I'm bringing him round. Just gonna walk him. Just gonna walk them. I'm gonna slowly trot through the snow. They've got a unit of archers, a whole unit right out in front, what the fuck. It's weird that they've turned their entire formation around to face these cavalry units. When I've got melee cavalry really close up here. It's not defensively effective. Alright, moving in. Still winded, but fuck it. Alright, now they're reconfiguring. Alright, get everything in. Fuck it. Oh, there's a nice blob there. This is when trebuchets are good. That's a nice target. That rock there is going to be annoying. I want to take safe charges here. I want to be careful. Yeah, they're all mixed in. This is not very good. Can't properly capitalise on this. Got spear units all over the place. That unit is exposed, I'll get that. Then I'll wait for more opportunities. Yeah, I'm being blocked here with that unit. Oh shit, there's units appearing out of nowhere. And I'm getting slight charge reflection happening. Crap. Yeah, I can't... I can't fucking capitalise on this properly. Yeah, this is not good. Ugh, taking all the losses there. I couldn't get in properly. Fuck's sake. Yeah, this is, this is no good. At least I'll have that unit. I need to pull this guy out now though. 17 losses to achieve not much. And the losses are mounting. Alright, well, that was a failure. Tried to open them up, but nah. Alright, I'm gonna try and split up all my units then. Try and make gaps. Lost half that unit to kill 200. It's not as bad as I thought, actually. Gonna get an angle on that rock there. Alright, so we've wiped them out at least. And that general unit. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything. I'm gonna bring him around. Need to get him out though. 22 left, for fuck's sake. I want to take the archers out, and then we can work on flanking the spears. Yeah, I'm pulling him out. He's had enough for this fight. I want to replenish him. Bringing Lady Bayan in. Pulling that unit out. It's too exposed. Bringing in axes. I need some rear charges on these big chunky spear units. Maybe I should. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill the general. I can't get his ancillaries, so. No, no, no. Spear unit there. But yeah, I'm gonna try and kill the general. Can use the axes for this fight here. My unit's still there. Oh man. My unit's only got 14 left, so go easy with them. That was a decent charge. I don't think we got reflected much, if at all. Gonna get the axes in close down there. So I'm gonna put the axes in the middle here. Get ready to exploit. Yeah, 13 men, fucking hell. I need to just use them to chase. And I should probably attack and melee. No, no, no. Shit, pull him out there. That's fucked. No, no. Alright, that unit's gonna route at least, so that was important. Oh, get out of there, man! Jesus! That unit routed. So yeah, this is working. Not bad. 
So, didn't take any losses there really. This was really awkward because they were in the trees on a hill with buildings all around, fucking obstacles. 15 left there. Yeah, I'm gonna re-involve the tank. Fuck. And I need to get charges into that shit. Uh, I'm gonna commit them to chasing. Gonna get Sal Renner in the back of this unit. Axis are not having a good fight. No surprise there. When do they fucking ever? And yeah, I'm just gonna chase with them. And come on. Let's get the Lancers while they're moving. Look at that, they're just disappearing into the shadows with only three men. Oh, that should be enough there, I think. Yeah, is that effective? Come on. What the fuck? Well, this is really bogged down. Getting charged off fucking G militia there. I'm getting an enveloping going. Hopefully they route. Hopefully they all fucking route there. Two units here that should route. That should be a really devastating charge. Alright, pulling out, pulling out. Execute those fucking generals, come on. And there's an infantry captain that we left until the end there. Oh wait, there's two. Oh, my tank is getting depleted. I need to watch out because there's not resilience on Lady Diane or Sal Ren. Oh yeah, and we got one because he's just berserked. So let's fucking wipe him out, shall we? And get all this shit back up here. And then it should just be the infantry captains. Oh wait, is that a good charge? Was that effective? Yeah, that'll do it, that'll do it. Alright, so I'm gonna route all this and then it'll just be the infantry captains left. 16 out of 52. That really crippled us. Fucking Yuan taking uh, only 14 left. Jesus. Yeah, has that bad start to the fight with him really messes up. Alright, I'm getting round with these. Gotta be careful though. Because they're not resilient. They could die. Got an axe unit in that fight there. Get the fuck out, get the fuck out. And then, if we can just get a good angle on these, downhill charge. Come on, move faster! Fuck! Fucking slow. Holy shit. So fucking slow, man. Get the fuck up the hill. Charge! Oh yeah, we got the charge. That's Lady Bayan with a knockback. Oh, perfect. That's all it took. I guess is the win. And then... Oh my god, fucking... He routed, are you kidding me on? Fucking Yuan routed, alright. And then we're just chasing down the routers. And killing everyone because... There's no point in letting them survive. We want to have our generals beat theirs and Joe's to get XP. Wait, speaking of that... Oh, I can't, because he routed. Fucking... How did you route? Holy shit. Alright, well... We're not catching... Kong Zhao. And we're likewise not getting his tunic or his local administrator, no matter what. Just chasing down all this shit now. And that gives us Kong Zhao's farm and wipes him out. Oh, that was a weird fight. Jesus. But we did it. Uh, losses are not that bad. This unit and the tank, they took bad losses. Yeah, fuck. He better not get any penalty for having routed from that fight. Hopefully not. Kills on the axes here were fucking decent. 163 kills for only about... What would it be, like 50 losses? It's not bad. Yeah. Ah, oh, that fucking charge at the start on Yuan though. Pisses me off. I thought we were in there. I thought we were cleanly in. So we lost 250 to kill 1,600, not bad. And they both died. And we got no ancillaries. But we took it. So we've got the farmland. And he ranked up even though he ran away like a little bitch. Hmm, interesting.
charge bonus to unrate you. Gotta get that shit. And then from here we go. We could go down towards Hey Yi, but we're depleted right now, so. Uh, I don't know. Probably not a good idea. Probably relax over there. So. Oh, yeah, because I've got a Chancellor now in Sal Ren, I can invoke the Council. And we need to construct the first building slot, upgrade the town to get peasantry income and commander satisfaction. Alright. I think I want to go for Hey Yi, but we need to replenish. So, fuck. And we can get spies, of course, which might be useful. Maybe I should send spies up to Liu Bei or down to Sun Quan or Yuan Shao. I don't have any experience with spies, so I don't know. Maybe that's what we could do with Lu. Nah, I want to keep Lu Fan, he's cool. He would probably make a good spy though. High rank. I've read that you can have a spy that's become an administrator in another faction, defect, and join your faction. That could be cool. That affords all kinds of strategic and tactical opportunities there. May want to do that shit. I'll think about it. For now though, uh, it looks like we're just sitting with no money. Can we even request aid? So with Lady Bayan I could, but Saren is too pissed. Gojia I would want to request aid with. So he would be at minus four. Crap. Yeah, that's pushing it. That's too risky. I wouldn't want to risk defection. Because all the positives could diminish faster than anticipated and it could end up being a net negative and then we could lose Sauren. Trigger a civil war. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Should I... Nah, I can't even banish either. Yeah, I don't know what to do about Che Zhuan or Zhu Miao. I may want to banish them, but... This guy has a decent starting rank. And he's got... Some cool skills already, so I don't know. So Sal Ren and Lady Bayan are friends. What the fuck took them so long? Range block chance and the tank and Lady Bayan are friends. So... It's not really making them that much happier, unfortunately. Yeah. And of course, Kong Zhao's faction is wiped. Maybe I should start moving out. So Hei Yi, I may want to leave alone for now. And I may want to go down to besiege this city. I don't know. I'm going to sit here and wait and replenish because having units with 12 or 13 in them, it's not good enough. Got to wait a few turns, I think. And I built a county academy up here. Which gives 8% experience. Not bad. And I don't think we can do anything else, so... Yeah, I'm in the turn. I don't expect to be attacked. I don't expect to see any manoeuvring. Well, this guy, of course, that goes back and forward like a fucking idiot. That's the exception. I think he can replenish when he goes down there. Ceremonial stone axe? What the fuck? Alright, so this is interesting. Melee cavalry and melee infantry get 5% melee damage. So that's good for down here. Like, that's an instinct, so we would want to give that to this guy. So now, melee cavalry get extra melee attack, and the infantry here get... Ah, uh, there's not much though, because most of their attack is represented by armor piercing. But that's really good though. Preservation. Reduced upkeep. So he's got an extra 8 instinct for more melee damage. And reduce recruitment cost. And then this fish with resolve. I want to give this to... Oh wait, he already had a stone axe. I think the fish is better for him though for resolve. So we stack resolve on him. Uh, it's not that important though.
and I can't equip that. What the fuck? Alright, so let's just give him the match GN. And what is going on here? Does she fucking rank up again? What the fuck? Only one point though. Well, that's good. One point. And faction support. Yeah, because she's a commander, we want to get her all this shit down here. Whoa. This one. So if we have three commanders with plus one starting rank, and then stack it with the Tunchin conscription. Oh man, that's one of the. That's a possible correction. I started out saying Tuntian conscription, and then in the last video, I fucking corrected myself to Tunchin because that's the contemporary pronunciation. Like, if you look up how to pronounce Tunchin and Tuntian on, like, fucking YouTube videos or dictionaries, you'll hear Tunchin. But the actual proper Chinese is Tun Tian. Like, I fucking thought it would be out of pure intuition. Fucking hell. I hate that shit. I'm being made to second guess my sound judgement. Fucking. Alright. So, yeah. I'm gonna be saying Tun Tian Conscription. Fuck it, I don't give a shit. Tun Tian Conscription. Oh, and look at our food. Plus 19 food, so... I don't think I really went over this well in part one at the very beginning, but Sao Sao is so good for getting loads of food. That's one of the reforms that Sao Sao instituted to lay the foundation for the Kingdom of Wei. He had very good logistics and social structuring to ensure a steady supply of food so that the people never starved and the, pe the people liked him. People tend to look fondly upon their rulers when there's always food, and Sao Sao did a good job of that. And it's reflected in the game because we have all these fucking food chains, trees, so we can... And it's already represented up here, we've got a surplus of 19, and a big part of that is the starting position. This is like the fucking breadbasket of China right here. So our starting commandery is just maybe the best food. Uh, commander in the game and then we're surrounded by all these mini food and we don't even have this one yet to complete it so we've got we've got this here irrigated farms then we've got this which gives plus 50 percent food later on the ton tian conscription ha and then we've got the livestock farm and then we'll have this and then down here we have another commander that's about food so we'll have a city with farms being built, and then we'll have farmland toolmaker, which unlocks higher level farms. Because toolmakers give tools, which is a resource required for making hoes, I think. So I think that's what the significance is of toolmakers. It unlocks the resource required for high level farms. And then we'll have a livestock as well here, so yeah. We can have a lot of food, and we should be using this to export. We should be using this in diplomacy, but that treachery penalty would make it less worthwhile. So right now all, all we can do is sit on our surplus food and get this crappy 12% income from peasantry bonus that we've got. 12%. Not much. Especially when we only have like 200 or 300. Crap. So we're basically getting an extra 40 income from 20 surplus food. Shite. Yeah, so replenishment is going to be slow here. Wait, I need to get this reform. So, yeah, it's turn nine, and the last turn we got research on was turn four. So it's going. I think it's going at the normal rate. Unfortunately, that sucks. Yeah, so we want to get. Vanguard, Satisfaction, and Recruitment Cost for Infantry. And this unlocks the next level of Tunchin Conscription, which gives food and starting rank, so... Yeah, fuck it, go with that. And then we need another 1, 2, 3, so... 15 turns until we have 10% Replenishment. Slow as fuck. And we can move another turn closer. Can we? No, we can't attack that. So, 
getting really close now. Yeah, so we've got 109 men in the crossbows, 85 in the archers, but at least we have Gojia leading them. 31 ammo, 21 ammo, yeah. It's, 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 it's fucking annoying me. And then we've got Zhang Chao, the flowing calligrapher, and Zhang Hong. I have a habit of saying Zhang, so it's like Zhang Chao and then Zhang Hong. And he's a fucking legendary tax collector, so yeah, we want to get him with charge bonuses and crossbows. Don't get stuck in a melee. This guy will just parry fucking everything. And he's only 20, so he's legendary at the age of 20. On his own merits too, I don't think he's got armor or ancillaries crutching him. So this guy's cool, if we can capture him then we're gonna have a legendary sentinel. Even better than Shate Sao Ren. That's cool. Maybe I should go up here. I should march on this farm with Sao Ren. Maybe. Uh, I would lose. It would take a lot of turns to get there. So I could move to the border at least. Or I could go down here. Maybe I should get ready to attack Hei Yi. Shit, I don't know. These guys are fucking zealous though, like, they can have big armies. So maybe I should leave them for now. And march on Yang Zhao, maybe. I think I will. So this farmland is robust. We're gonna have a good garrison here. Yeah, look at that, we're replenishing a pretty big garrison already. So we can rush to their aid. Maybe. And if not, then maybe the garrison itself can repel any threat. Can't upgrade it yet. Fuck, I think I'm gonna go for this town. Yeah. Doing it. And then we'll have two more cities taken. So we're conquering all to the south right now. And hopefully, I think the only threat right now is Hei Yi. Although they, we're not even at war with them yet. And they're kind of fond of us. They seem to be benevolent. So, yeah, I think we're safe. And can I request aid yet? Come on. Yeah, 20 and 79. And yeah, she's happy, of course. So, I'm requesting aid on Gujia. And then, I think I could request aid on Nagun like that. So, I've got. 2,500. I'm not making any money properly right now. Oh, and I can make another assignee, so... Zhang Ba. Lu Fan I would want to probably have. So... Over here we've got 100 commerce income and then... That'll go up to... 175, I think. Alright, well, it'll help. And I can build this shit. I don't really have any effective way to build up. And yeah, I don't want to upgrade this because we're making farm stuff here. Yeah, I can't really use money properly. Oh, I can do this. So I can upgrade Chen. Definitely do not want to lose Chen. Do not want an army coming through here from what would it be? Yuan Shu or Liu Biao Lu what was his, what's his name? Fuck. There's a couple of proper factions down here that can move through this hand territory quite quickly and be upon our be on our doorstep threatening us. So I've got to watch out for that. So if we have Chen upgraded, that'll Satisfy Sao Ren and also give us a better garrison, I think. Or maybe not. <laughs> Either way, I don't think there's anything else we can do right now. Oh, this guy is nice. No, okay, he's okay. This guy's kind of pissed because his office got revoked and we requested aid on him before we did it. So at least I'm cycling these guys quite well so far. At least there's that. 
Should I banish someone? Maybe I should banish someone. So we've got... Yeah, this guy maybe we should banish. Desires higher core position. Alright, well this guy's a shitty... This guy's a shitty fucking strategist. And he's got shit traits. Resolve is useless. This crap is useless. This is fucking useless too. This guy's shit. I wanna get rid of him. Don't need him. Wait a minute, 175. That's not as bad as... Yeah, this guy... Sorry, Jumiao, you've gotta go. Fuck you. And that gives us an extra 200. Now this guy's at 12. Sauron's at 5. Fuck it, let's just get rid of both of them then. So this guy is... Yeah, Zhu Miao was a shit strategist. Che Zhuan, you're a shit strategist as well. Fucking getting rid of you. And that looks so much better. So much better, fucking hell. Gojia is now at 19. Sauron is at 0, but it'll go up. It'll get better. Yuan Huan is at 7. He's a problem. Like, he needs to calm down. Desires higher court position. Am I gonna have to make him? Nah, I'm, I'm never gonna make him a faction heir or prime minister. Fuck that shit. All we get from him is morale. It's useless. Fucking useless. Income from peasantry faction white though. Ooh, maybe actually, maybe. Alright. Maybe this guy has a future then. And if so, I'll want to be giving him this stuff. So yeah, alright, spending that so it doesn't show up anymore as a little icon. And yeah, I like it when we're at exactly zero. <laughs> really walking that fucking line finely. Alright, end of turn again. I need Jan Wei. I need the other guy. I need this surplus income. Zhang Chao, yeah, fucking knew it. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. I could have ambushed him. Alright, well, this is going to be interesting. We've got. Oh, Wei Liaozi. Wei. Wei Liaozi. Liaozi. What the fuck? The next expert's leather, devious attendant. So he has a lot of shit. 41, flowing calligrapher, plus 10 satisfaction. He's got unbreakable. Fucking bastard. Oh, so we need to kill him. Shit. And this guy has nothing. But we can capture him. And then he's... Yeah, we don't even know what he's got. Alright. Well, we replenished... Most of our melee cavalry. We've got... Between a third and half strength on our... Skirmishers. And of course, Dune. Dune's always fine. If they're defeated here, they'll have nothing apart from the fucking city and full garrison. Alright, well. These skirmishers gonna want to use them well. This looks familiar. This is. Oh, there's a lot of trees. A lot of trees, man. Alright, well, I'm gonna just stick to my usual plan, I think, where I divide up like this. Skirmishers, I want to catch them in the open with. The fuck are they? Yeah, they're over there. Alright. So, I need to give my skirmishers room to shoot, so. Gotta get up against the back of the map then. Gonna have my cavalry hide. Gonna position my cavalry in trees. Gonna have to. Oh wait. Maybe I'll try and get some charges on these. They've only got two units of spears I can see. A lot of axes. And some archer units. So they've got two decent cavalry units though, two sentinels with good melee evasion. So oh, I need to be decisive against them. Crossbows are needed for sniping the generals, I would say. 
All right, fast forward. Let's move this on. That should give us enough room, so gonna position here. Gonna have Sao Sao right at the back. Gonna have these guys in the trees here. And then these can appear down this side. So... Not much skirmishers, but they can serve as bait. Definitely. So we'll bait them into the open here. And then hit them from the flanks. With cavalry emerging from the trees. And I'm holding fire, because I don't want to waste my shots on hitting these units that have shields. I should really try and char charge into that immediately. Need to get some good charges out. They've got... Yeah, right, so I'm going to have my melee cavalry do all the screen. They can take arrows. They can take charges. Can make shit happen with them. And then I'll have my ace in the hole emerging from the left and the right. I want to catch them in the middle here. Alright, let's get a split going. They might charge, if so, I can bait them out. I can wedge into those axes. If I have to. Oh yeah, so I want to shoot at that sentinel with my crossbows, definitely. And I'm gonna flank now. I'm gonna catch these archers with a sao sao. I need to be careful with these sentinels here, because they can do a lot of damage. I'm gonna pull back with them. I can move between all these archer units with sao sao, take them all out, I think. Might as well spring the trap. Should be able to kill like eight or nine hundred guys as it stands. And of course, Dun can scare. And I need to watch out for that sentinel there. And I'm getting good effective shots on this sentinel over there. Gotta watch out for that spear unit though. And yeah, they're fucking... they're wiped. Need to get back there. Can't get caught on those spears. But I want to take these fights. So yeah, gotta be careful. I need to relieve them. Sao Sao can relieve the Saber Cavalry up there. And they can run away. I'm taking that rear charge. It's too much of an opportunity. I'm taking it. And I think we'll do well in that melee. Uh, shooting at those spears. Two axes there that are estranged. Can fuck them up, definitely. We're not going to have anything to run back to the city with if we do well here. And yeah, we've got them all. Gonna have Sao Sao wedge charge that other strategist, I think. The other sentinel. And yeah, we should be firing into him. He'll go down quickly, I think. And yeah, this is pretty decent. Dune has so many men in his unit that the damage is spread so well among them that we're not really taking any losses. I love it. And we're firing at the sentinel there. Yeah, that's good. And I can charge... No, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, that's good. That melee evasion is so good. Holy shit. And he's unbreakable, so... No, wait, that one's unbreakable. So he's got to... Got to kill him. And then have the other one route. And we did it there. Alright, so now we just kill this guy. And then that's it. And I'm gonna just shoot at these, I think. Maybe if their back's turned, we can do a lot of damage to them. If that's how it works. And yeah, he's only got 20 left, so... 
he's gonna die. I think if we withdrew and that unit survived, then we could maybe all resolve to get stuff off him slowly, if that's how it works. And yeah, I think the archers did well there. And I think I can get some rear shots into the other axe unit there. So I'm gonna pull them around, we face them. And they're unbreakable. Come on, fucking kill them. That guy should run soon. Yeah, that fight's gonna take a while. So everything else is routing now, but he's gonna stay in the fight until the last man take a while to die. And it's a shame he's got no ancillaries to drop, because we, we could have got some there. We can still capture him, of course, but no ancillaries. And I'm holding fire now. And chase them down. And I think we got pretty much everything. Maybe an archer unit made away with like 50 guys. Us a bit. And that should be the win now. Once he dies. No. Yeah. Alright. That axe band has like 100 guys left, so gonna root that unit down. Easy peasy. And that'll do it. Heroic victory, yeah, alright. Thought that was a little bit sloppy at points, but overall, pretty fucking good. Yeah. Skirmishers didn't do a lot. Probably helped soften up the Sentinels there. Yeah, look at those kills on South Star though. That was mostly because of that fight at the outset. That charge into those four archer units that were just separated. That was really nice. And he dies, of course, and this guy... What's this? What? 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 We got something? And we captured this guy, okay, cool. Alright, I'm gonna employ him. He is a good sentinel. 25% experience. Alright, so we fired two shitty strategists and we hired a good sentinel. And we only lost 100 guys there. That is... That's nice. 6% replenishment. For 300. So that's like 4,500 for a full replenishment. I should just take that. I'm doing it. Nice. So they got fucking wrecked. And we just totally opened up. We just totally opened up that faction. Like, they've got a different name now, but yeah, they get fucked. Lao Zhu Meng. Oh, and we just got the brute of unmatched power. Jam fucking way, boys. So we started out with getting Gojia, we go out with getting Jan Wei, and we have a really good Sentinel to boot with melee evasion of 32%. So that means that 32% of melee damage is just outright negated. 32% of all swipes are just ineffective. And we got the Leather, Expert's Leather, another set. Sao Sao and Goji are friends already, nice. Cool. So... Yeah. Not bad. I was not even gonna play 3k today because I am really fucking tired. <coughs> but I'm glad I did because the RNG gods were favourable today. And what's this? Nah, right, forget that. 10 melee evasion. Oh, champion. Hmm. I'm really glad we got Jan Wei. He's the fucking beast. So we have opened up these two towns for capture. And got two, got both of the legendary characters that I think were eligible for so far, so yep, going pretty well so far. To be continued. In the meantime, check out my possible battle series and hit me with your save files, peeps. If you like what I'm doing here and want more of it, you can support me on my Patreon. 
Thanks to our patrons, with a special thanks to Matteo Olivetti and Nerdington. <laughs>